And I wanted to take a few moments here to welcome Ujwal, who is uh, working for us as a business analyst now. He went through the same training program like uh, you guys are trying out and uh, we were able to find a position for him in uh, California he was local to California and uh, right now he's working as a business analyst at uh, global touch points and he's involved in a project for the California DMV and I'll let him give us uh, some more information about the project itself uh, I thought it would be helpful for you all to gather some information and insight from someone who's gone through this whole process and who's working in the industry as a BA so might give you a level of comfort hearing from a peer perspective <clears throat> so Jwal, uh, welcome and thank you so much for taking the time over the weekend to come and talk to us today well, thank you for having me it's always a pleasure Okay, uh, first thing I want to ask you, I'm going to ask Ujwal a couple of questions to get started and then I'll open the floor for you guys to ask any additional questions and uh, we can take it from there. Uh, first question Ujwal, uh, where are you working right now and what is your project about? Give us a little bit of a brief about what you do. Uh, so yeah, I'm actually working in Sacramento right now for the Department of Motor Vehicles, uh, DMV, uh, at the state of California. Uh, my project is to automate the testing system uh, at uh, the BMB locations all around California. So this applies to all DMVs. They'll be using the software that you're building right now. Is that right? Uh, that is correct. In the first phase, uh, we were just doing it in a couple of locations, and gradually the plan is to implement uh, throughout California. Okay, okay, great. And is this the first time they are automating this system or do they already have a system and you are adding on features to it? No, actually this is the first time uh, they are automating the system and actually the state of California is one of the last to do it, uh, it seems like. Yeah, I was just about to say because Calif yeah, California I would think they, they pioneered this and they were the first one to do it so I was pretty surprised to learn that it's the first time they're implementing an automated uh, DMV. This is the learner's permit test that we're talking about? Uh, that is correct. We're talking about the learner's permit test. Because uh, right now it's still manualized. I think, yeah, so they're trying to automate it. And I got involved in the project very early. So it was a fun experience in requirement gathering and learning about how the process works at the day. So. And I've been here in the project for almost over a month now, so it's a very good learning experience. Okay, that's great, that's great. And tell us a little more about what you were doing prior to this job. Did you have any IT background or experience? How did you transition from your previous role to this role as a business analyst and was it easy enough? Well, you know, uh, previously I did not have any IT background. Um, I used to work for uh, retail and sales. Uh, sales and a uh, little bit sales management uh, for Macy's and I, IT was something uh, that I, uh, I knew a little bit about but my knowledge to it was pretty limited and it's challenging of course I had to work a little bit harder to build the background and everything but uh, I guess once you work on it a little bit I think things comes up and um, I had a pretty good support system uh, from requirement I think to kind of make me happen Okay, great, thank you. And uh, how much of what you learned in the course is fitting in your current work and how much of it are you able to use on a daily basis or how challenging was the new role? I know you went through the training and that gives you some perspective into what, what to expect on the job. Uh, it was a lot of the training materials that requirement in the five-week course covered. Uh, it, was, it was pretty much touched on a lot of the things that I do here. It introduced me to the different methodologies and how to different tools you can use. And um, and once I went to the job, there were certain things that I had to learn. But 80%, uh, I think I was very satisfied on what I learned. And there was 20% that I had to kind of learn on my own. But uh, there was a really good support system. I collaborated with you a lot, free, so and I still do if I have questions. So it was very helpful. Okay, okay, thank you. And talking about the process that you follow, what is the methodology that you use there? Is it Agile or RAP or SDLC? What kind of SDLC do you use 
at your current job? Well, uh, we use SPLC, but uh, we're kind of more in a hybrid structure. Okay. Uh, so we use a little bit more of the concept of JAD. Did you say JAD sessions? A little bit more of the... Uh, okay. Do a lot of, yeah, JAD sessions, yeah. And for DMV, it's a lot of new things in technology, and uh, so there's a constant learning curve for them as well. So we have been exposed to a couple of different areas, yeah. Okay, okay. And uh, how does your daily job as a BA go? What do you do? Are you in meetings a lot or are you sitting at your desk writing requirements? Each BA role is different, so I'm trying to get a sense of how uh, your role plays out. Yeah, when I got into, uh, as a BA, I was, the project was still on the requirement gathering phase. So usually on my job, on my first four hours, usually involves a lot of meetings with the users. Okay. Meetings and gathering requirements. Then the rest of the day it, uh, involves collaborating with the tech team uh, to kind of understand it and kind of interpret uh, what the meeting was. And uh, yeah, it involves a lot of meetings, a lot of requirement gathering. And right now, uh, it, as we're moving to the first phase of the software build, uh, we're finally working towards developing use cases uh, for the project. Okay, so you use uh, use case methodology, you write use cases and uh, document the flows. That's the functional requirement Method. method that you use, is that right? Mm -hmm. Okay. That is correct. Activity diagrams and storyboarding are some of the things uh, that we're using uh, uh, on this project. Okay, and do you get enough help in terms of uh, uh, the support within your team? Is it a large team or a small team? How do you work as a team? How uh, helpful are they as a team? Well, my team is about, we have uh, eight people in our team. Uh, so usually people are really helpful. Uh, they are very helpful to try to explain it to you. And uh, of course you have to kind of show or learn. And, but if you are presenting something, they usually give you good pointers and how to adjust and what are the changes you can make to make it look a little bit more presentable. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much, uh, Ujwal. Uh, that's all the questions I had and people generally ask. But I'll open up the floor for uh, other questions that folks might have and I'll relate to you. I'll start with folks in the classroom here in Virginia. My question is, how fast did it take you to get a job? And did you have multiple people uh, vying to get you? Was this, you know, did you have a, did you kind of pick and choose your company or... Uh, and how long really did it take you to get a job? Uh, my training had started on April. It was like uh, a week training, I believe. Mm -hmm. And after April, uh, we one of the things I liked about requirement things and how I, I was really working on building my resume. And when I was building my resume, I was learning a lot of things about interviewing and what are the processes uh, that we need to go through. So it took me about almost a month to build a resume, then we marketed the resume. And after the marketing phase uh, went through, I actually had four interviews. Uh, and I had actually, I got this job and I had another job uh, that I was pretty close on getting at uh, Phoenix, Arizona. So it's just, it's just a matter of fact that this happened earlier and it was confirmed. So I had four interviews. I did not have much many interviews. So it went pretty fast. Oh, okay, and uh, this was in California, so that works out well because you were already in California, right? I was already in California. I lived in San Francisco, so yeah, this worked out well, so I did not pursue the job I had in Phoenix, uh, so yeah. Okay. How receptive was your employer uh, to you not having an IT background? And did having a this certificate and the, the BA uh, course help get that position? Uh, can you repeat the question? For me? Yeah, the question is, uh, how how did you manage not having IT experience, and were employees receptive to that, or did the course uh, that you done did that help you kind of fill the uh, gap? And before you start, uh, Ujwal, let me also give you uh, give uh, everyone a little. Uh, insight on onto that so 
typically what we do is we look at your current resume and see what your background and experience where you come from and in Ujwal's example he had uh, retail experience and knowledge in the retail world so in a business analyst position there are two aspects one is the business domain that you carry and the other one is the IT knowledge IT skill set that you bring in so for the business domain aspect of it we look at your current resume even pulling into uh, all your education and find out how much of it relates to BA and try to emphasize that those areas that closely relate to BAs and then suppress areas that would uh, undermine your value as a BA. So we, we take BA as your target role and then try to find out as much as possible from your current resume so that you can start somewhere instead of starting as a fresher if you have prior uh, work experience. And Ujwal, if you can now uh, continue, please. Uh, sure, and to add on to that, uh, requirement and kind of they do a little bit more interview preparation, and uh, there's a uh, consultant's portal that you can kind of prepare for all the questions that might be asked for interview, and they provide feedback. So I did uh, significantly practice that, and when I went to interview, then I was uh, I think I was pretty prepared. Of course, you're not going to get all the interviews, but uh, I think I did prepare pretty well on most of the interviews that I did. The next question is, is your role primarily IT related? The, the project you are working, is it primarily IT? Yeah, actually my role is actually, it involves both of us, but uh, I think it will be more, it is a little bit more related to IT, because I'm also working with an analyst from DMV side. So uh, she takes care of a lot of uh, other stuff, and my role primarily would be regarding IT. Okay, and I'm sure you have uh, someone from the DMV who is a subject matter expert that you can go to if you have questions on that domain, correct? That is correct, and we collaborate and we work, and she helps me clarify a lot of the questions I have, and uh, but uh, rewriting the use case and everything, tech technical aspect uh, would be more of my domain. Right, right. So in a, in a BA role, you have this business domain knowledge and your IT experience, how you apply models, how do you think through the whole process, how do you solve a problem, pretty much. So the course is going to give you enough of uh, the IT aspect of it. And underlying, we try to build upon some domain areas as well. And we take domain areas that we are familiar with. Could be credit card uh, systems or... Uh, flight reservation systems or insurances, loans, things that we are aware of in general. We take such domains and use that to apply the knowledge of the IT skill set, how to create models, how would you do it in this scenario, uh, so that you're not double tasked with learning a new domain as well as learning a new you know, uh, IT aspect of it. You're concentrating on learning the IT aspect of the business analysis job with the underlying principles of domains that we all understand as a as a regular user of a credit card uh, website, for example. So when you are on the job, um, again, your specialty is IT. That's where you are, you are brought in. But any knowledge that you have in the same core domain that they are working on would be a big plus. And for instance, if uh, DMV was looking for someone who has done a DMV project before, it's probably going to be hard to find. So it's also dependent on what area they are looking out for and what area you are able to support. If you work as a mortgage business analyst as your first job, then chances are your second job will be in mortgage or at least finance. But nothing precludes you from switching a domain and becoming a healthcare BA and then coming back to finance and trying several different fields. Because the BA discipline of it, the analysis skill set, is pretty much common across disciplines. That's where the BA role is very special. It's not like technology jobs where you would learn .NET today, tomorrow you will need to keep up with any developments in .NET, right? And BA being still an evolving discipline where we are still arriving at best practices, still trying to figure out the best way to uh, do the analysis because there can't be one right formula. All these tools that we are discussing about, all these methodologies that are being proposed, they are supposed to give you the best chance at efficiency but again there's no one uh, borderline formula that you can just adopt and get it done unlike programming programming you have a set of rules go within the rules and you have the output but in analysis for instance how do you ensure that you're not missing a requirement that's one of the hardest things to do and even when you're reviewing, reviewing someone else's requirements how how do you move your focus outside of that document that you're reviewing and concentrate on what you're not reviewing Right? So that aspect of it for BAs, it's 
part of it is inherent you need to have good analysis and analytical mind and part of it is adopting these methodologies that are proven to make that easier for you so it's a combination of those things question um satisfied for you with the salary you received what's the question how satisfied you are with the salary you receive right okay ujwal <laughs> I was satisfied. I was with the salary. Actually, I was more satisfied about the learning experience. The salary was a plus to go with, but it was experience and opportunity to work in a project that I valued a little bit more than salary. And, uh, to answer your question correctly, and let's put it definitely competitive. I think. Let's let's put it another way. Was it a better move compared to your previous retail role? Yeah, it was a lot better move. Uh, the opportunity of growth in the retail wasn't that high, and plus I wasn't really enjoying what I was doing, and and I like learning things, and this has definitely given me that platform for that. So yeah. Okay, fair enough. We were trying, we were hoping you'll throw out a number, but. <laughs> <laughs> Once you have it after a year of experience, then you can start really going up salary. That's right. That's right. And just to give you an aspect of it, and this is based on a national survey that uh, IIB conducted, the average BA salary is $84,000 per year. That's the average. Is that just coming out? Uh, well, this is the average across all BAs, <coughs> junior, senior level, okay. and, and so on and so forth. Okay. Thank you so much, Ujwal, for your time. I know it's a weekend, and uh, uh, we really value your coming in and sharing your experience and knowledge here. I think it really benefits our participants because it gives them that uh, pure review of the course that they are interested in evaluating. So thank you so much for your time, Ujwal, and uh, I greatly appreciate it. Uh, thank you very much, Sri. And uh, like I said, I mean, I was in your everybody's shoes in April. I was a little anxious and I had a lot of questions too, but uh, once you start doing it, I mean, you start getting answers to a lot of these things and it's a process that really usually does take some time. So thank you very much and you guys have a nice day. Thank you so much, Ujwa.